of the Milky Way galaxy. So I'm going to give you an update on a couple of things that I said in yesterday's vlog that I did end up completing. Like, I finished watching uh, episode 2 of Star Wars. We are, we are on episode 3 as of right now. Um, I did finish reading Chapter House Dune book. So I have read every single Dune book that Frank Herbert wrote. I have not read any of the books that his son, his, uh, his son Brian Herbert has written. But I have completed every single book that Frank Herbert has written. Now, with that being said... I'm going to do, I'm going to tell you the plot of the book, and then I'm going to tell you that what's up next is going to be whatever I decide it to be. Whether it's watching the rest, like I said, I'm going to watch every single Star Wars film. We were about, we're about halfway through episode three uh, at the time this vlog goes up. Uh, but before we get into reading the plot, I did want to say a few things. Uh, about what I said in, regarding sports last night. So, the Golden State Warriors beat the Chicago Bulls 119 to 111. Curry had 19 points, which makes him 43rd uh, all time on the scoring list, passing Ger uh, George Iceman Gerving, uh, or Gervin, Gervin. Next up is uh, David Robinson, I believe, and he needs 79 to pass him. So that could take two or three games. Um, as well as uh, Utah beat USC, which means that there's going to be a lot of shakeup over the next couple of days deciding who gets to go into the playoffs or the college football playoff. Because there's a lot of games today that are taking place. Like, number one, Georgia is playing. Number two, Michigan is playing, and number three, um, uh, TCU is playing. So, basically, with USC losing uh, last night, that leaves a window open for Ohio State to get back into the playoff picture with only one loss. Now, who knows what's going to happen uh, with the TCU game, with the uh, Georgia game, and with the, uh, the Michigan game today. But it's going to be a huge shakeup on what they decide tomorrow. Now, the other game that I mentioned yesterday was Folsom High. They had a great season. It, they just came up three points sh short of going to another state, uh, the Southern California version of of the state championship game, um, because they lost to De La Salle seventeen to fourteen, which it was a very close game. I mean, it was 17-7 to for most of the second half until right around the middle of the th fourth quarter. That's when they scored their, uh, the touchdown to make it 17-14, but they couldn't, they couldn't finish it. So, like I said, Folsom High had a great season. Now, there's one game today. I'm looking, actually, there's four games today I'm looking forward to. Uh, watching all the champ. Uh, College football championship games, whether it's the um, the the uh, Big Ten, Big Twelve, uh, and SEC championship games today, as well as Sac State playing Richmond uh, for in the second round of the FCS football championship that's taking place today at two p.m., which is after this fly goes up. So, with that, all that being said, let's go over this. The Bene Gesserit um, find themselves the target of the Honored Matri Ma Maters, uh, whose conquest of the Old Empire is almost complete. Maters are seeking to assimilate the technology and superhuman skills of the Bene, uh, ben, uh Gesserit and exterminate the Sisterhood itself. Now in command of the Ben Gesserit, Mother Superior Darwi Audrey. Uh, continues to develop her drastic secret plan to overcome the Honored Matrix. Uh, the Ben Gesserit are also terraforming the planet Chapter House to ac accommodate the all-important sandworms whose native planet Dune have been destroyed by the ma Maters. Shanna, in charge of the project, expects a sandworms to appear soon. The Honored Matrix have also destroyed the entire Ben Lilax uh, civilization with Lilax Master Skytail, the only one of his kind left alive. 
In Bene Gesserit captivity, Saitail um, possesses the low secret of Gula production, which she has reluctantly traded for the Sisterhood's protection. The first Gula produced is that of the recently deceased military genius Miles Tech. The Ben Gester have two other prisoners on Chapter House. The latest, Duncan Idaho Gula and the former honored uh, Matre Mirbella, whom they have accepted as a novice despite their suspicion that she intends to escape back to the honored Matres. Lampadas, a center for Ben Gessert's education, has been destroyed by the honored Matres. The planet's chancellor, Reverend Mother Lucia, managed to escape carrying the sharp aired minds of millions of Reverend Mothers. Lucia is forced to land on Gamu, where she seeks refuge with an underground group of Jews. The rabbi gives Lucia sanctuary, but to save his people from the Mitras, he must deliver the, her to them. Before doing so, he reveals Rebecca, a wild reverend mother who has gained the other memory within Ben Gesserit training. Lucia shares uh, minds with Rebecca, who promises to take the memories of Lampadas safely back to the sisterhood. Lucia, Lucia is then betrayed and taken before the great honored matri Dama, who tries to persuade her to join the honored matrix, preserving her life in exchange for Ben Gesserit secrets. The honored matrix are particularly interested in learning to voluntarily modify their body chemistry, a skill that atrophied among the Ben Gesserit who went out into the scattering involved in the honored matrix. From this, Lucia deduces that the greater enemy that the Matras are fleeing from is making extensive use of biological warfare. Lucia refuses to share this knowledge with the Matras, and Dama ultimately kills her. Back on Chapter House, Audrey confronts Duncan and forces him to admit that he is a Mentat, proving that he retains the memories of his many ghoul lives. Meanwhile, Marbella collapses under the pressure of Ben Gesserit training and realizes that she wants to be Ben Gesserit. Audrey believes that the Sisterhood made a mistake in fearing emotion and that in order to evolve, they must learn to accept emotions. Marbella survives a spice agony and becomes the Reverend Mother. Audrey confronts Shiana, discovering that Duncan and Shiana have been allies for some time. Shiana does not reveal that they have been considered the option of reawakening Teg's memory with it through imprinting, nor does Audrey discover that Shiana has the keys to Duncan's no-ship prison. Teg is awakened by Shiana using imprinting techniques. Audrey appoints him again as basher of the military uh, forces of the Sisterhood for the assault of the Honor Matrix. Audrey announces to the Ben Gesserit that Teg will we did an attack against the Honor Matrix. She also makes clear her intention to share her memories with Rubella and Shiana. Uh, where did I leave off? Uh, okay, the, making them can't to succeed her as superior, mother superior if she dies. Audrey meets with the great Honor Matrix while the Ben Gesserit forces on her tag. Teg attack Gamma with a tremendous force. Teg uses his secret ability to see no ships to secure control of the system. The victory for the Ben Gesserit seems inevitable. In the midst of this battle, Rebecca and the Jews take refuge with the Ben Gesserit fleet. Dama's chief advisor, Logno, assassinates Dama with, with poison and assumes control of the honored matrix. Too late. Audrey and Teg realize they have fallen into a trap, and the Honor Matrix use a mysterious weapon to turn defeat into victory and capture Audrey. Marbella saves as much of the Ben Gesserit force as she can, and then and they withdraw the chapter house. Audrey, Aud, Audrey, however, had planned for the possible failure of the Ben Gesserit attack and left Marbella instructions for a last desperate gamble. Marbella pilots a small craft down to the surface announcing herself as Honored Matrix, who, in the confusion, has managed to escape the Ben Gesserit with all of their secrets. She arrives on the planet and is taken to the great Honored Matrix. Unable to control her anger, Logno Taz, but is killed by Mirbella. Awed by her physical prowess, the remaining Honored Matrix are forced to accept her as a new leader. Audrey is also killed in the melee, and Mirbella shares with Audrey 
to absorb her newest memories, as they had already shared prior with battle. Marbella's ascension to leadership is not accepted as victory by all the Ben Gesserit. Some fleet chapter house, notably Shiana, who has a vision of her own, and arranges to make some to have some of the new worms that have emerged in the chapter house desert through brought aboard the no ship. Shanda is joined by Duncan. The two escape in the giant no ship with Sidetail, Teg, and the Jews. Marbella recognizes their plan at the last minute, but is powerless to stop them. So that's the whole book, um, the plot of the whole of the final book. And now it's time to get ready for the final countdown to the final countdown. The countdown to uh, Christmas, which is three weeks from tomorrow. So we have 22 days until Christmas. And 29? 30? No, 28. 28 days until, um, until the end of the year. Actually, it's 29. Let's be honest with you. So we've got a couple birthdays to wish, and then i got to do my outro and say goodbye. So I want to wish Gavin Butler a happy birthday. I would like to wish Abby Weitzel a happy birthday. Uh, Weitzel, uh, Sage Ryan uh, Campbell, Amanda Seyfried, and Jenna Dewan. Um, or it's Amanda Seyfried Sadowski. Um, that's every birthday we have today. So go wish, um, go wish Gavin, go wish Abby, go wish... Sage, go wish Amanda and go wish Jenna a happy birthday today. And I have one birthday tomorrow for you guys, which I'll talk more about in tomorrow's vlog. And with that being said, I will see you tomorrow with a brand new vlog. And bye-bye.